what's going on everyone welcome back i hope everybody's having a great day folks just a little update what's going on with me did he take off for good or is he because it's work related yes it's work related so quick rundown uh you all know that where i worked well we had a fire in the store and uh thankfully this owner has other stores so we were able to relocate and work for now which was basically about 10 minutes away from the other store great then he approached me and said hey i got a proposition for you would you like to help me stock this other store. Now keep in mind, this other store, it had a fire about a year ago, okay? So that's all been fixed, it's all been done. Now they wanna restock the store. So there's all kinds of people there. There's people doing HVAC, electric, internet to whatever. So it's gonna open this Wednesday. So it's on a crunch, right? So we got everything just about done. It's pretty much ready to rock and roll. And folks, this is like a hundred mile round trip for me. Thankfully I have a fuel efficient car, but I have a couple people that carpool with me because if they didn't, they get murdered on gas. So I think I checked mine, it was like uh, 47 miles to the gallon. That's with three people in the car, so I can't complain. Now, I did explain that to a couple of you folks uh, when I was on Discord, and I was on there just briefly, and then I had to jump off. So anyway, that is what's been going on. We will be getting back to some normalcy. It should be the last day would be Tuesday, which is the time of recording this. So that's pretty much the rundown. We're going to get back to some normalcy, try to get this thing rocking and rolling again for you folks. I've got plenty to do. So thank you for sticking around. I do appreciate your understanding. And uh, like I said, we're not leaving you. Uh, I would definitely let you know if that was going to be the case. Okay, so now let's jump into the video. Now, many of you folks have seen what Joe from Ot Alien TV had done about the Joe fruit. Remember that it looks like these giant tomatoes on Mars, right? And I believe it was about a month ago, Jean Ward had also done like a part on his and his own analysis. So let's just jump right into our own analysis and see what we come up with. All right, you can see right here, it is a gigapan from Joe from Ot Alien TV. Fantastic put together. I appreciate your work, Joe. Thank you for that. Now, you can see, I'm just going to back out of this. You can see where he's got a lot of these, like, star kind of areas or question marks, so on and so forth. So you can check this out. You'll get the link, as always. In fact, I'm going to give you the link to his channel and his analysis, as well as John Ward. So you know where to find that. That'll be in the pin post at the top of the comment section, okay? So let's just jump into the area we're gonna look at, this question mark here, we're gonna look at this area here. Now, right about from this area, right around here is where we're gonna go. So from here to right about in this area, right about here. So just a small section here, okay? Now, I'll tell you what kind of threw me off, okay? Now, if we were to go to, let's keep it right here, okay? Now, if you look at the bottom right, it says 200 meters. That's where I got the current zoom set at, right? You can see this right here, if you go from top to bottom, this one here, right here in the middle of the screen, you can see that that's about 200 meters. That's a big, big fruit. Now, this is what I started to look at. As I zoomed in, I'm saying, wait a minute, why? Let's look at this one here in the middle. Why does this look like it has square opening? This one here a smaller one here, and if you look, there's another one there. Folks, I believe these are bigger structures or dome structures, and I believe a lot of this has been manipulated or censored in some form. Now, if you analyze this properly, this whole thing has its own compression artifacts they put over to try to blur this up. Let's get into Photoshop and let's really check this out and see what we can find. Now, I've got it set like this at 150 degrees clockwise, and the reason for that is because I want you to see it from this angle. Now, let's zoom right in. Now, folks, check out these openings. One, two, and maybe even a third, right? Same thing here, not so squared off. Looks like something right here. And you can see it's not even on any of these particular objects. So what are they? So this is what I did. What I did is I cleared this up. Now watch this. Okay, that's a little bit better. And you can see there's a little bit more defined and maybe a smaller one there. But this is where it gets a little more bizarre. And folks, get out your magnifiers. You're absolutely going to need it and pause it where you want to. Look here. These two right here. Look at these, what looks like structures sitting side by side. One on the right of that line, one on the left. Okay, that's not all. Here. You're going to see a whole bunch of this in this photo. Now, here's the thing. Color it a different color, put a filter over it. You want to blur it. You want to get rid of as much detail as you can. Now, I want you to have a look at these particular sections right here. 
If I blur it, you do not see these weird compression artifacts. This blocked out area, you can see this right here. Look at it carefully. There's a pattern being put over this. If you were to do this, you don't see any of that. That's the whole point. They're putting something over the top of this to blur this out. However, we can bring some of this out, okay? And you can see again, it's, it's evident up here. You're gonna see something weird up here. Now at some point, I'm gonna make this really, really dark. So if you have a phone that adjusts to light, like mine does, I can set it to auto light, meaning if I go in a dim area, it'll dim out. If I go in a bright area, it'll get brighter. If that happens to you, just have your phone in a bright room. But get yourself out a magnifier and then have a close look at these uh, artifacts. You can see them right here. There's a filter being put over the top of this to filter out what's really in this photo. Look at it closely. In fact, in, zoom in a little bit. I'm going to show you this. Really, really cool, but sneaky at the same time. But you can see that. Look at them. If I was to do this, not as evident. Clear it up, and guess what? You can see it pretty darn good. But again, we can bring this out. Okay. So I'm just going to start hitting the filters, and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about, because this is cool. Now, we've already seen the openings to what I believe to be domes. Check these out now. All these little parts, you're going to see more and more. Just have a look. And like I said, this is just some of the enhancements I started to do. This right here. Notice how you can see what looks like a part over here. Right? It looks like it's doing this like an oval. And notice this area right here, right there, okay? But now it's more evident as you look at this, okay? Now, have a look at that. Just pause it right here, folks, and have a glance. I've done this already, went over very slowly. In fact, I'm going to back up just a little bit because I think a lot of that filter that they put over this photo is really going to try to mess with the detail. However, I can also do this too. I'm going to zoom in so you can see these. See that? Check out the objects all in here. Again, these two here. Look at little pieces. Look into the dark areas as well. It's not just the bright objects here. Notice how this is shaped like this. Okay? And it goes on and on, folks. Like I said, this whole area, this object... And you can see what they try to blacken this in. You can see it like there's lines doing this, going over that oval area, but you can see it doing this. Okay? I'm going to back out a little bit because you can see a little bit of those compression artifacts. And here's the other thing I want you guys to notice too. It's hard to see the filtering, but I can still see it even when I back way out. Compression artifacts, you have to be like almost right on top of it in order to, let me get out of this, right about there. You can see them pretty good, but this is an actual filter, folks. Now, it could be a compression artifact. That's true. But from my experience, I don't believe that's the case. You probably have that as well as the filtering. Now, check this out. I believe these are domes. Folks, these are huge. If you see some of these at like 200 meters, that's like, what, a little over a tenth of a mile? A 0.2 kilometers? That's insane. These are either manipulations to hide bigger structures or these are actually dome-like structures, and these are the small ones around it. Have a look at this area. It's going to back up so you can get the whole thing in there, like from here to here, and just slowly go over it. The funny thing about it is when you look at some of this, some of it looks like there's no detail, like it's completely wiped, like some of the area has been wiped out. Is that a possibility? Remember we said it's a war-torn planet. Is it possible we're seeing parts of an area that's completely wrecked and some not so much? And you can also see it if we go to the left here, on some of these other areas. Now, let's go real dark on this. Okay. And have a look again with your magnifiers. Again, make sure your phone, if it's adjusting to light, make sure you're in a brighter room and then have the screen get brighter and then look at you with your magnifier. And uh, folks, I'm going to tell you what, I'm going to just do it just like that. Check that out. I'm going to go slightly darker and then I'm going to go bigger. So this will clear up a little bit better. This is a bigger photo of the smaller one I just showed you just previously. Have a look at that with your magnifiers, folks. This is crazy. 
Now, when you check this out again, act like you're flying over this area. Have a good look at this. This is insane. Let's say this one here at the bottom of the screen is about mm, just about 200 meters. Let's call it 200 meters. That's about a tenth of a mile, a little over a tenth of a mile or 0.2 kilometers. That makes perfect sense. Look at the stuff in between here. These, here, here. And these are just some of the things I'm pointing out. This is not all of it. Up here. This area right here. Look all inside the circles and then everything outside the circles, folks. This. What is that? What's going on there? You would never see this and never be privy to it because, because you're looking at this. There's no detail. you got an overlay of a masking and then you have it blurred out or it's caused because of this. One of the two. Again, clear it up and you start to see these things, even though this is dark. I do this for a reason. At times you can see it in a different brightness. Check that out. There you go, a little lighter. Now, let's go into black plating and have a better look. Okay. Now, again, magnifiers, check this stuff out, folks. Much lighter. I'm going to just back up just a hair bit. You got an eyepiece, use the eyepiece. If you got a ma magnifier, either way, check this stuff out. Now, let's go a little darker. Pause it here. Have yourself a good look. It looks like a lot of stuff has been completely obliterated, has some detail, and some not so much. Now, here's another interesting piece. Let's zoom into one of these so-called, whatever these things may be. Check out the back of this. Let's do this first. I'm going to take you to the original. Okay, this area alone I want you to concentrate on. The back of this object right here. If you look really closely, you can see what looks like squares and lines right here. You'll see this area right here. The small dot in it. And you're going to see it go like this. So on and so forth. It's almost like there's little squares right on the side of each other, okay? Now watch this. Right here, check it out again. See that? Right there. Go back and forth. It's there. It's in the photo. But blurred up, barely even noticeable. Again, look at these two objects right here. Almost non-existent. Clear it up. Bring it down. You can almost see something here. This is really wild. You can see something like doing this. Like it's almost structural, right? See that? Now we can see what looks like compression artifacts. Is it possible it's both? Meaning it's from the actual photo, compressed down, and it's a combination of their own manipulation, obfuscation, trickery, call it what you will. Okay? You can see that there. Here's the wild pot, folks. Check this out. Let's go back to the original. You see this right here, it's pot green and black, right here. It looks like it does this. It runs completely out of this thing. There's something else right here. Now watch this. See this here? This here? Looks like we got pieces coming inside or going in and out of this thing. And again, we have what looks like almost square openings. This one looks like a smaller opening, not sure what to make of that, right? And you can see this, this is from the original, only difference is it's cleared up. And you can see the difference in that, right? But so much detail is then taken out because they don't want you to see what's really in this photo. Now, if we were to slide over here, look at the, some of the stuff here. Have a look at these objects up here. And again, look in the dark area. Sometimes you see like a shape going like this, like you can see something here. Half of it will be this goldish color, and then some of it will be in this darker color. They do that purposely, just to hide what's really in here. Look at this object right here. Okay? Just that alone. See that? If you look at that, all of these things up here, they appear to be structures and not just what you call natural. Okay? Go back onto this side real quick. Again, this is darker. And for good reason, we're trying to bring it down so the white doesn't actually bleed into the rest of the photo, therefore bringing out more of the details. And again, just folks, look at this. Just to mark a few. Okay. 
And like I said, this thing looks big. I'm not sure what, what this is here, right there. Like I said, folks, it looks like some of this stuff has detail. Some of it, not so much. And so it makes you wonder if some of this is not completely blown to pieces and some of it, not so much. Right there. I'm gonna just put this right here, folks. Let you have a look at this yourself. I believe these to be structures, giant domes. That's what I believe they are. Could be anything from giant domes or it could be nothing more than a manipulation to hide what's really here. Let's say for argument's sake, under this one here in the center, there's like a, a really condensed area of structures. Well, that's the best way to get rid of them, right? Or they just happen to be big domed areas for whatever. Is it for food? Maybe these are food storage uh, structures. How do we know too that these aren't blast marks during this war? If that's what took place. And of course, we're highly speculating here, folks. Give you guys one more look at this area here. And that's pretty much it. Now, folks, why don't we just brighten up just a hair bit and see what we can find. We don't want the whiter pots to bleed too much, so we don't want to go too high with it. But there you go. Pause it right here. Have a look. Now I'm going to go back to the darker photo. So check this out first, pause it right here, and let's go to the other one. And there you are, folks, right there. Folks, like I said, to me, at first I was like, yeah, maybe these things are some kind of fruit type things. They, they do. They look like a tomato, right? And I'm going, wait a minute, 200 meters. Well, at least that's where he had it set at the time. I'm going, okay, some of these things are 200 meters wide or, or in length or whatever. And I'm saying, hmm. 200 man fruit until I cleared it up. Then I'm, wait a minute, there's a lot more detail in this photo, but yet you can see the masking. You can see, even if it's natural compression artifacts, which could very well be true, either way, it's hiding some of the detail of these objects. So, with that in mind, I said, okay, let's start to try to bring these things out and see if there's anything of any value. And sure in a heck, folks, it looks like an area that's partially destroyed and some areas, not so much, where you can see more detail. I believe those things to be domes. For what? I don't know. I speculated they could be some kind of store domes, meaning put food in for that particular area for these beings. Pure speculation again, right? Um, but either way you look at it, it looks like a city. And if you go back and look at this thing, because it, I got it on an angle, act like you're trying to fly over it with a plane or a helicopter looking at this area from a distance and it looks like a city. It looks like a, some kind of small city or just a bunch of structures laying about. Are they actually structures? I don't know, but that's what it looks like to me. As always, folks, drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think, and don't forget to like and share the video. It is always appreciated, and don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so that YouTube shares it. And folks, like I said, I do have more coming up. I will let you guys know what's going on, and as far as any kind of live feeds, we're going to try to get back to those as well, so uh, make sure you guys join us then. Now, I know I didn't tell you guys last Friday if we were going to have one or not, so my bad on that. However, I'm going to try to keep you guys, again, updated with the community post so you guys can check that out. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Always appreciated, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.